Reports tonight from the Target 12 investigators. A grand jury finds there were several failures in the death of a Rhode Island native in Georgia. But no indictments of jail staff, leaving a local family angry. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now with the latest developments in this case. Walt. Frustrated local family members tell us they now hope the Department of Justice and their own federal lawsuit will do what the grand jury in Georgia did not do. This is surveillance video of the final moments of the life of 22-year-old Shelley Tilson as he apparently hits the call button in his cell, bangs on the door, and then tries to climb it. The Rhode Island native moved back to Georgia in 2017, and in 2018, he was arrested for misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Nine days after he was locked up in the Rockdale County Jail, he died from what the autopsy said were complications from dehydration. Tilson's older brother is one of his Rhode Island relatives. To watch my brother take his last breaths, hopelessly trying to fight to get somebody's attention so he can be brought to a hospital, it makes me mad. Who wouldn't be mad about that? According to a letter from the Rockdale County District Attorney summing up the grand jury findings, there was a failure by jail staff to, quote, address the mental state and physical decline of Shelley Tilson. But the DA wrote the panel did not find evidence that any person criminally or intentionally caused the death. You leave them in a room with no medical attention, no food, no water. That's showing intent enough that you're purposely leaving somebody alone who's in need of medical attention. The family has filed a federal lawsuit and Tilson tells us they still have hope. The Department of Justice will, in his words, do the right thing. It's going to hurt every day. It's, there's nothing we can do about that but try to make things better for everybody else. That the attorney representing Rockdale County in the Tilson's lawsuit said he has filed motions to dismiss the case. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.